Now, to get started, I'd like you to go to your class files and open up st01.step file. And we'd like to open this as a metric part file. And I'll fit this view. And at first glance, it's hard to see any way to really improve on this traditional design. I'd also like to point out the fact that this part was built in another CAD system. And when opened in Solid Edge, it has no feature tree. As you can see here, it's just a part copy. Now, even though the part has no intelligence, it's still faster to modify this in Solid Edge than going back to the original CAD system the part was created in. So let's see how we can lightweight this part with synchronous technology and generative design. And I'll start by adding more material for the optimizer to work with. So I'll grab this face and I'd like to just pull this out and design intents on. So if I just click anywhere here, that'll fill that area in. And then we'll spin it round and grab this other face and pull this out and fill in this area also. And we'll just lock to that point, make sure the face is planar. Now what we can do is just grab this face and with our magic wheel we'll just drag up to this edge and we'd like to rotate so we just pick on the wheel. Now what's magical about this is when I pick on the wheel I'd like to just pull it out to right there and watch how that adjusts and keeps the tangency there. This is all due to the design intent down here that we've left on. I'd also like to soften these sharp edges here with a round of say two millimeters. And I'll change my part color to cyan. And now I'm ready to run the optimization. So I'll go to the Generative Design tab, Aluminium 1060 for the material, Create the Generative Study, and the Design Space is the part file. And I'll check that off. And the regions I'd like to preserve, I'll start with this hole. And I'm going to run with 1.5 for the offset. This hole is about twice as big, so I'm going to go with 3 for the offset for that. I'd also like to preserve the regions for this uh, slot right there and the hole. And let's just go with 1.4 on that. And I'll add a force to both the holes. And I'll stay with the default offset, except that. And I'd like to just fix this hole here and these two plates right here. I'll leave an offset there of the default also. And now I'm ready to run the optimization. So I'll hit generate. And I'm going to go with, it's at 50 right now, around 60, 62. And here's our optimized part.